What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to RPAC Electronics. So today, I'm just going to show you a really cool way to repurpose an old iPad that you might have lying around to be used as a arcade marquee. So this is my old, uh, well, not old, but this is my iPad Pro, all right? And I'm just putting it plugged into my uh, USB-C port using an app called uh, Splash, what was it? Splash Top... Um, X display, yeah, splash top X display, all right? It creates a um, second monitor attached to a PC wired so your iPad's always on. Now, what does this do? Big Box actually recognizes this as a standard second monitor, so that's great. So all you do to enable this feature is you go down to options, marquee screen, check these two ignore theme marquee views and stretch marquee images to fill the screen, all right? And that's it. If you downloaded all your artwork correctly and you're on version 12.9, you should have your uh, marquees functioning. And you can see here I'm on arcade, consoles, and everything looks beautiful. Oh, actually, let me just show you the uh, image settings so that it looks nice. You wanna make sure you go to options, images, and then just check the first three, show clear logo, show platform, show banner, and then the last one, prefer clear logo for main platform image. If you check the fan art background ones, they're gonna get like a double image and it looks just lame because it's trying to fill that black space with artwork and it's just not great. All right, and I'm gonna show you how a few of these look. So if I go down to arcade, some of the arcade, um, the arcade marquees are in a four to three aspect ratio. Some of them are 16 to nine. Some are ultra stretched, but with that scaling setting on, you will always get a full screen marquee. See, like the pit one is a perfect artwork. So you can get really creative with this. You can like get like two little clips that just uh, stick on the wall and slide your iPad in or just mount it with double sided tape probably. Just leave it plugged in and uh, you just repurposed an old, um, iPad to make a really cool marquee. All right, see like red earth looks great. Oh, this is a little bug you may get when uh, you use a marquee. Uh, this is in LaunchBox. The, when you go into a wheel, it might be blank. And then you gotta back out and then go back in in order for it to work, see? But yeah, this is a great way to make your uh, artwork really pop on a digital marquee. So it might squish the images because this one is originally a long marquee. But hey, it's better than nothing. And I think this is great. So I might just uh, mount this on the back of my monitor somehow. If not, I might just have to do it on the wall. If I could make it a part of my monitor, that would be really great. But yeah, that, that would be a little bit uh, harder. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then when you back out of Big Box, Okay, you you can uh, hide your taskbar. I hid in my taskbar so that I get a my regular image. Or you could put a um, a second image. Like uh, you can Google your favorite arcade game and put that there as the permanent desktop. You can set two separate desktop images so they're not mirroring. This way, this will always be a topper, even though you're on your regular desktop doing your your regular work. All right. Uh, I'll try to see if I can just show you an example of that. Uh, what's a what's a good game? Um, let's try Mario. Okay, let's do Mario Kart Eight images. Uh, oh, this is pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna save this image. All right, it's just a regular JPEG. Okay, I'm gonna set this as a background. All right, now what that's done is set both of my screens as a background, I don't want that. All you have to do is go to personalize, right click personalize, background, all right. Uh, you're gonna pick, right click the photo that you want, set to monitor two, right click your usual photo, set for monitor one, and now there we go. So now, this is my permanent desktop uh, marquee and uh, that's all it does. It's just uh, really, really cool. So you can set this to whatever you want, or maybe you can even slideshow it, and have different rotating marquees. Oh, and uh, if it gets cut off, like my the word Mario is cut off here, you can actually set the, um, the scaling, choose it to stretch, and it will compress the image to, uh, to a proper size for you. 
See, look how nice that looks now. Cool, right? All right, well, that's how you repurpose an iPad uh, using this app. Uh, it was called X Display, X Display, all right? And there is a program you need to download on the computer. It is free. I do not, it's supposed to be a trial, or at least it was, but I. it just kept working for me. So, all right, then, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more arcade tips and tricks. All right, I have more on how I built a rad drive coming up. The wireless uh, button box is, uh, is gonna be available for purchase soon. These take a very, very long time to make because they're all 3D printed. It takes like 20 hours to 3D print this, but it lights up, it's wireless, it's awesome. Okay, so we'll have more coming up in the next few weeks. Take care, guys.